in their cold market. Um, it's a different sort of conversation and you're gonna say a little bit different things maybe on Facebook than on Instagram. But these are just some examples and I wanted to highlight where it's in bold here. I don't know if you can see my cursor, but this is like what I call the golden phrase because I pretty much find a way to ask this question. I don't know if any of you did, um, have any of you done Bob Helig's trainings? The, the upline training. So this is from his trainings. I just feel like it's pure gold. So instead of saying a lot of our like traditional hey girl messages, I find a way to work this in, which is if I did X, would you want to do Y? So if I sent you a quick video with details, so the challenge group video, I sent you a quick video with details on my group, would you want to take a look? If I sent you the link, to my um, info session on Facebook, would you want to join and learn more? And that, and you say, you know, it may or may not be for you, but if I did this, would you want to do that? Which is much less, I feel, confrontational and pressuring. You know, the way they answer it is, is you're just kind of like, hey, maybe it's for you, maybe it's not, but if I did this, would you want to do it? And I find that I get much more response than a lot of the traditional invites that I was doing before. <coughs> so these are just some real examples from some women on team um, in how to get, so the goal is to always get a third party tool, the appropriate third party tool in front of them. And most of the time it just starts with the like, what is a challenge group tool? Um, that's the first thing you want to get in front of them. But um, as you can see, this is like coming off of stories. Um, someone's asking a question. Um, and here's the quick video. And she had a little bit more of a background conversation for it, but you're seeing she's getting the video in front of them. And then again, we have another one too that has the challenge pack. So we have two videos, one that has the challenge pack and one is that's just straight up EOD. Um, getting that in front of them. Hold on, this I can't see the whole thing. I always, the banner on Zoom drives me insane. I feel like I'm always fighting the banner. Um, so she sent her the little videos and she's already been talking to this person. It's not like just random out of the blue, but um, she, this coach knows the person well enough to just send it to them. And she shared this with, one with me because she's like, I got this in front of this person back in April. And then she just came back to her in August and said, I have the money, let's go. Because she'd already gotten information in front of her. Then this one I shared was, um, I share, my thing is food. I share a lot of food on my um, social media. That's actually how I started was I just was sharing food and then I became a coach. Um, so this is how <coughs> you can turn around and turn I love that for that golden phrase I told you because you can take she's just um this is all she said to me like you're all so you're always so motivated to cook and then I answered her back and then I threw in that it may or may not be for you but if I sent you a quick video about my group would you want to take a look and learn more she ended up signing up as a discount coach and ordered Shakeology ultimate portion fix and a bag of Shakeology for her husband all because I just threw that little golden phrase at her. I could have just been like, oh yeah, I love to cook or whatever. But it's like, I try to look at every opportunity as like, how can I get this third party tool in front of them? So this is sending challenge group third party tools. After you've sent them the third party tool, I think it's really important. Do you guys use like intake forms? Um, again, that's the nurse in me. I think it's really important to always just get as much information as possible because you don't want to miss something. And then um, it's, for me, it's never about what group I'm trying to fill. I run just an ongoing group for anything and everything. I don't, I'm not like trying to fill a, the work group right now. I just have a challenge group and it's, I usually get people started Maybe like 90% of my people started with an ultimate portion fix, either basic kit, challenge pack, or something. Literally, almost everybody's signing up with ultimate portion fix. Um, I give them the choice of ultimate portion fix for beginner, um, someone who needs to just kind of learn the basics. Um, I also, or I do three week yoga retreat for someone who's maybe recovering from an injury or something like that, and just like 
doesn't consider themselves a fitness person but likes yoga, or they can do Lift Four or Twenty One Day Fix Extreme as a more, um, you know, if they're more into CrossFit or a runner or something like that. But those are really the only three things I get people started on. I'm not really a big believer in. I don't feel like my people that jump right into things um, without having that those foundational programs do as well. So that's just something that I've learned over the years. But um, I always make sure to have them fill out a form. So these are just sort of the person watched the video. She said, it's an amazing video. I'm definitely ready to make the change. How does the group work? So instead of like spewing all this information at her, I say, fill out the form and then I'm going to recommend to you what will be the best fit for you and positioning myself as, you know, the authority and the expert. And then this other example is very similar after you watch it. Sometimes I'll do that. Like after you watch the video, just fill out this form. Like if I'm really busy, I can't be doing a lot of back and forth. And if I'm talking to a lot of people at once, I might do that too, is send them the third party tool and send them the form at the same time. Okay, so you've learned all about them. And I wanted to use this example because this was one where, again, completely cold market person. So I wanted to make sure they know I'm human. I'm, I'm not just here, um, you know, to sell them something. So I made sure to tell her, I mean, literally when she filled out my form, I was like, this was me five years ago. I feel like I could have written everything that she wrote. Um, so building the relationship, then sending her a third party tool with the, this is the ultimate portion fix um, video from my COO. And I addressed everything she said in the form. So in my intake form, they can say, I want to focus on, you know, foundational, restorative, um, or, you know, if they're looking for um, an intermediate or expert level workout. And then I also have the option if they want to learn more about coaching. And in the intake form, she said she wanted to learn more about coaching. So I sent her to my Instagram page and she requested to join that to get the information on coaching. And then I had her add me as a friend on Facebook. So she just did those things. And then um, after that, addressing the normal hesitations. So that particular coach had questions about Shakeology. She never had Shakeology. She wasn't sure what it was send them a Shakeology video or share um, with her. I did a felt found feel like this was how I felt. I used to have digestive issues. Then I drank Shakeology for five days and I haven't had any of those issues since. Um, and just having confidence that I thought Shakeology, you know, that's what I had recommended to her, that it was the best fit for her because that's what, because of what she had told me in her form. Um, these are all normal for people to have questions. I always expect people are gonna have questions and I give them the information and address their concern and really listen to them. And if they go for it, they go for it. If not, they join my group, they see everybody else talking about it and they're gonna buy it like a month from now, no big deal. So this is an example of the pricing that I send them. So once they've determined that that is, they've watched the third party tool video, I've adjusted their normal hesitations, I'll always just say, okay, so, um, you know, are you ready? Should I send you the, you know, pricing and look at the different packages and we'll build you the perfect starter kit to get you started right. So um, I also tell them what I recommend when I send it. So I say, based on what you said, I recommend that you start with ultimate portion fix with energize and I put it all together I might say in beach bars or um, a lot of times doing putting the three-day refresh and making a kickstart pack and I, I give them all my information of what I think they should do build them a share a cart if you don't know how to use share a cart there's a great um, there's tons of videos but um, Danielle and Tony had a really awesome call where she talked, she uses um, an even more um, a form to have people do a share card, but she talks about the power of the share card. Um, so the action items that I asked my team to do after this call was to create a photo album on their phone with any image graphics, their third party tools. Um, save the invite document and um, create a Google Doc with frequently used links. And you'll just sort of see like my people 
I tend to attract people who ultimate portion fix is going to be the right fit for them. So I just keep the ultimate portion fix and I can show you guys. Um, how do I get out of here? <laughs> Not good at this. How do I minimize my screen? Oh, and I'll check the chat. I think if I, hmm. Does anyone know how to make a screen? Oh, what are you trying to do? There we go. <laughs> because it was taking up my whole screen. Oh, uh oh. Um, let me. I'll just find that invite document for you or the. Um, so my links here, this is just my document and then I have it on my phone too. Of just all. So these are the third party tool videos and then I have the ultimate portion fix one here because that's pretty much mostly what I send maybe a three day refresh if I'm out on my phone. If I need to do something different then I'll wait until I'm at my computer. Um, I have other things like I have an Amazon shop that I can send people to. Um, my app, oh, my intake forms are here for challengers and coaches. And our virtual workout. Um, so it's not a lot. Like, honestly, this is what I run my business off of is sending these two videos. And then I spend more of my time um, just building their relationship. And then the inviting document is probably. Yeah, I have like a notes on my phone with the tools that you're talking about, right? Like that sort of stuff, brochures and stuff. And then do you streak it all? Yeah. I love yeah, so streak. I have snippets that I yes. would consider third party tools, right? That are even easier Definitely. than copy and pasting. So yeah, I do my follow ups. I have a snippet for follow ups. And then I use um, convert kit for like all my free leads or anyone new who ends up in my account, like inherited customers and stuff like that. I just download the CSV, pop them into my email list. And, um, you know, I try to send out a weekly newsletter from my list. So this is, um, so this is just like that working document I told you about. This is new coaches. And then, um, for people who are more seasoned, it's kind of a hodgepodge, but it has good information in it. So it just is like a good resource. If someone's having a conversation, they're like, oh, I'm at such and such a point in the conversation. I don't know what to say. Yes, this is like a really good resource for them. Yeah, that's helpful. Yeah, know that if you can share that stuff, I think it'd be great. Whitney, are you talking to us or to? No, I'm not talking to you. I'm just, um, I'm hoping we can get, get these from you. This is I really know, cool. that's what I was thinking too. Oh, well, okay. thank you. Oh my God, this is so good. Um, I will give you everything I have. We use um, the volume approach. So we really do, and you guys do too, like let's just get people in and then it's crazy. The challenge group just like, sells products people get on there and just share honestly and it's not the coaches all the time it's the other challengers and i just love it so um yeah i'll just share everything and then jillian you can kind of decide what makes sense how you want to disseminate the information i also use dropbox you guys use dropbox we use Drive, and I will um, share my entire Drive with you, which is where Whitney and I keep our brain. Um, it's also a mess, but um, anything you could ever want is in there. So probably what I'll do is add your stuff to Drive and then share mm -hmm. my whole Drive folder with you so that I can at least scratch your back for scratching ours. Um, Absolutely. I can't wait for you yeah, to host and that. I, and I, this is going to sound like terrible, but I love that your stuff wasn't like super pretty. And it was like, just like very to the, what are you laughing at? She's because, our, because graphics aren't the, 
we're not. We're yeah, not. we're not graphics people, but I just love that you're like sharing that you can be super effective without like making everything. Whitney's are way better than mine. Mine don't even exist. <laughs> um, but, you know, sometimes we watch for those of us that aren't good at certain things, like I'll watch these coaches and I'm like, oh my God. And I remember when I first started, I would spend like three hours doing a graphic, like Jen Richardson's in my upline and she used to be a graphic designer. Oh my gosh, her stuff is so beautiful. Yeah. And so in the beginning I was like, oh, I have to do that. So I would like, I paid for all these like programs on my computer and this, that, and the other thing. And then I would spend three hours and it would still look like my dog did it. And I was like, what <laughs> am I doing with my life? Like, this is not helpful for anyone. So I just started not doing it and using those like like you know kind of just creating docs that were simple like the ones you shared but then like just using other people's graphics and it's okay like i'm really good at other things that they use of mine like anytime jen needs any math done i'll literally get a facebook <laughs> message it's like hey can you do that? i'm like yeah no problem and i just spit out the answer so um yeah i just I, I love that your stuff was really simple because I, I don't want people to ever think that they have to do things a certain way to order to. Yeah. I think we get caught in that trap when we're new coaches. And then I'm like, um, I don't care about what it looks like. I just want the information and someone like me, that's all they're going to get. Like just the facts, like just give me the information so I can make a decision. Like that's all I want. And, um, yeah, I'm so right brained. So I've worked on my, my skills. I just try to copy what other people do for graphics and, uh, it is what it is, but yeah, thank you. does anyone have any questions? I can't see your faces. So <laughs> I think everyone's yeah, if anyone has anything, dishes. just unmute yourself or type it in the chat or whatever. This is like great information. And what's great about this call is that it's not just another inviting call. And I mean that in like the nicest way possible, but this wasn't just like, this is how you invite. And this is like, you know, whatever. Um, this is all about like specific, a specific way to invite, to make inviting easier for you with action items, not just like a, how to respond to certain things. Um, where will we be able to find this info? So, um, Lilius is going to share it with me and then I will share it with the team. I'll put it in our Google drive, which you guys should all have bookmarked. And if you don't have it bookmarked, it's pinned to the top of our coaches page. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, you're also teaching. So whether even you're signing up a challenger or you're signing up a coach, you're teaching them in that interaction that they're not going to have to have all the answers either. You know, like they're not going to have to word vomit on people and memorize all the facts from every program. Your, your, your interaction is teaching them that like, oh, they just have to send someone this graphic and then it's going to explain how much everything costs. So that's what else I like about it. It just simplifies the process for everyone. So um, I'll get that all together and um, just send it your way. And yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And if you guys, um, we never called them third party tools for other things. But if you look at like the album for um, like morning meltdown in our team page, all of those graphics that explain the different program price, the different pack prices and stuff, that's an example of a third party tool. So we do provide them. And then personally for me, Lilius, I don't know if you do this, but when every new program comes out, I make a video of me talking about that program so that I can explain it without work. So I'll be like, oh, here's all the information. Um, and I can send it in a video instead of like word vomiting. Do you ever do yeah, that? Yeah, I just send the, um, I tend to just send the coach online office video. I really haven't been sending much more than ultimate portion fix, to be honest. Okay. Like, I have just been so like, I don't know. That's what I've been attracting is people who need that. But yeah, I tend to send that video and then the, what is a challenge group video kind of, um, sorts them. So like when they're coming in, like sometimes they, the other thing is, is you don't waste your time. You send them the video and either they want more information or they don't. 
And, and I think that that's what I like about it too. Cause how many times have you spent like all this time answering their questions and then they say, this is my favorite response in the world. I'll pass. I think I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. Like, I don't even know what that <laughs> means. I've I had so many people say that for a while there and I'm like, I don't get it. I'm going to pass. Like I'm what being healthy. I don't know. <laughs> so weird yeah yeah that's a good one i actually have been asking people so when i talk to like cold cold market on my like page because i thank people for liking my business page i'll send them a message thank them for liking it and ask them if they're on a health and fitness journey too and i'll start a back and forth conversation and i've been having a lot of problems like get converting those people but it's not necessarily the conversion that's frustrating. It's the fact that I've spent like all this time going back and forth, like you said, and then they aren't interested in any sort of anything I could offer. They're just not interested. And so I'll ask them like when our second or third interaction, when they start responding to me, I'll be like, do you want to invest in a plan? Because I'm finding that I'm going back and forth for days or weeks. And then they're like, oh, I actually just want to do this on my own for whatever reason, whether it's monetary or whatever, because it's, and mentally it's like been hard. Like it's just hard, right? Cause we only have so many hours in a day. So I like that. Um, I like setting the third party tools for that. And I also like, like asking them straight out, like, do you want help or do you just want to do this on your own? So yeah, I tend to say, does this look like something you'd like to be part of? And then they'll say yes or no, or they'll ignore me, or they'll forget about it. And then, you know, three weeks later, be like, oh, I totally forgot, you know. So I think it's just you get the information in front of them, and then you know, like, do I have to invest more energy? Um, or do we just move along to the next person? So. Um, you know what I can do? I can send you the, um, slideshow because then it has a little homework thing at the end, like setting up on your phone. I just have all those pricing images in an album on my phone. Like one of my coaches today was like, where do I find whatever? And I'm like, well, I could type out a whole thing on reminding her where all the images are, or I'm just like, here, just, just take the image, you know, and it takes two seconds off your phone. So. Um, Do you have any other questions? Is anyone's mind blown, feeling a little bit more secure in the way that you can talk to people and have conversations without word vomiting on them? Nicely word vomiting. I mean, not like rudely, but you know, <laughs> yeah, just a little spit up. <laughs> on, um, on Instagram, you know, because that's what I was struggling with. I'm a fit page girl. Like my Facebook business page has been everything. And I know how to talk to people over there. And then Instagram, I'm like, no one really wants to have a long conversation over there. Like, it's like bing, bam, boom, right? Yeah, true. Okay, well, else? I will, um, yeah, it's definitely less intimidating. And I think also for duplication with new coaches, um, this is all I'm having my coach, like, I'm really not teaching them anything else. I'm just saying, here's the third party tools and I'll walk them through, you know, if they need a little help through the first few people, but very duplicatable. All right. Have a great night, everyone. Was it your daughter's birthday? My daughter's birthday today, but she's in bed guys. I'm not like ignoring my child's birthday. To <laughs> well, I hope she's time. in bed. Yeah. yeah. She's two. So she was in bed at seven 30. We had a great day. Um, awesome. So yeah, yeah. So thank you so, so much. Thank you to responding to my spastic post on I don't remember which was. <laughs> well, I just had this call with my team and they loved it. And I'm like, I I feel like I get so much benefit from so many leaders on the network that, you know, I want to give back. So totally worked out. Always happy to return the favor. So when you're wanting or need someone to fill in Whitney or I or both of us together we can talk about success partners too if that's ever a topic you want to talk about um are happy to return the favor for sure so awesome guys I'll get all this stuff over to you as soon as Lilius gets it over to me and have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday um and hopefully your month is finishing out strong
All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Good to meet you all.